Karan Butler, man, right here, man. Tall guy car views back with another one, brother. Go ahead and say what's up to him with the, with the cigar, with the smoke smoke. Yeah, I was getting it right, man. How y'all <laughs> doing, bro? Oh, man, living a blessed life, man. Say that shit again. So listen, brother, because you know there's a lot of people in the world, you know what I'm saying? I follow you because of your story, right? You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people in the world who might not know who he is. And in case you want to give him a recap, oh, I can do it. I can say two-time All-Star, NBA champ. Hey, man, I I'm, go on and on. I'm too humble to like give that crazy introduction and that long-winded one. But my name is Karan Butler, a.k.a. Tough Juice, uh, NBA veteran, now entrepreneur, uh, analyst for multiple networks, talking about Fox, Turner, ESPN, calling college games, sideline, in the booth, in the studio, yep. you name it, I do it, versatile, I love this game, I also love just inspiring people to be a better version of themselves, and we're going to enjoy a special day, riding my whips, kicking it, yeah. Slim, you know what it is. Alright man, so let's go ahead and uh, get this day started by hopping in the Rolls Royce Ghost, uh, you see Lady Exit, she, she hiding right now, get up in that thing, let her pop up out of there so she get her day started too. Hit that start stop button, boop. Look at that pop up right there. Hear the little chimes and all that. And the old lady ecstasy on top of the roof, like all about the bitch of his mic apps, man. Even though he been tape, hey, don't Kevin Hart, you gotta chill out, chap, relax. So I had to stop, get a little breakfast. You know, I had to get that all greens and ginger with that, you know, fruit bowl. Trying to eat as healthy as possible every single day, as much as I can, when I can, you know what I mean? And the Rolls Royce goes, baby. Cheese squad, I just bought up the Karan Butler crib, man. Look, he got the Range Rover, he got the uh, Rolls Royce Ghost right there. And guess what else he got right there? A Dodge Challenger, boy. How legendary is that? <laughs> man, come on, man. And I'm in a Rolls Royce go since I pull up, man. Listen here, man. Stop playing with me, man. This this can't be my life. Ain't no way. This is God's plan, man. God's plan with million percent because it damn sure ain't mine. Never in my wildest dreams I think I'd ever be doing something like this, man. Oh, pardon me. He got the Escalade, too. See the garage open it up. He's gonna come on open it, join up. Come on, man. Legendary.com, baby. Come, hey, man, listen there. Let me calm down. I need that. I need that bread right there, man. I need can't have that copyright, but man, listen there, man. I'm about to chop it up with a bit. I'll see y'all in a minute, baby. Karan Butler, man, right here, man. Tall guy car views back with another one, brother. Go ahead and say what's up to him with the, with the cigar, with the smoke smoke. Yeah, I was getting it right, man. What y'all <laughs> doing, bro? Oh, man, living a blessed life, man. Say that shit again. So listen, brother, because you know there's a lot of people in the world. You know what I'm saying? I follow you because of your story, right? You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people in the world who might not know who he is. And in case you want to give him a recap, oh, I can do it. I can say two-time All-Star, NBA champ. Hey, man, I I'm, go on and on. I'm too humble to like give that crazy introduction and that long-winded one. But my name is Karan Butler, a.k.a. Tough Juice, uh, NBA veteran, now entrepreneur, uh, analyst for multiple networks, talking about Fox, Turner, ESPN, calling college games, sideline, in the booth, in the studio, yep. you name it, I do it, versatile, I love this game, I also love just inspiring people to be a better version of themselves, and we're going to enjoy a special day riding my whips, kicking it, Yeah, Slim, you know what it is. Man. Come on, man, and he got the Rolls Royce right there, that is the ghost right there, right? Alright, yeah, we're going to take the ghost out today. And then you got the Challenger, and I told Karan <laughs> when I pulled up, he got the Challenger right there, and it's crazy because I didn't even know he had a Challenger. Let me just go ahead and show you how God works, man. And I started with a Hellcat. Not this any Challenger, though. It's the green, yeah. paper green Challenger. There you go. From Wisconsin. Racine, Chief Wisconsin. Man. Racine, Wisconsin. Hood. I don't care what the hell going on. I'm repping the Packers. Day one, no no doubt, Cheesehead is official. Come on, man. Forever. Yeah. I know you're probably a Viking guy. You know, you know what? I only watch football, brother. But if I'm a root, I'm going for Vikings, no question. Oh, shit. I can't, bro, I can't stand the people who, who root uh, for the, op it's not where you're from. Yeah. If you're from Wisconsin, root for Green Bay. Yeah, you from Minnesota, go for the Vikings. Dallas Cowboy fans in Wisconsin, I'm still tripping over that. It makes no sense. And, and that's not America's team. America's team, if, if you really want to get technical, Patriots? America's team is the Patriots. For sure. Red, white, and blue, man. Like, it's the closest thing to the flag, all that stuff. So That is true. And they win the most. Yep. The most relevant. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the Cowboys won like 20 years. <laughs> But everybody go crazy for him. Yeah, like, if, like, you compare that to the penitentiary. If somebody say, man, I got 20 summers down with no championships, they haven't won in life. Facts. That is That's a fact. the Cowboys. <laughs> we won in 2011. Yeah, you know. did. And listen here, man. Let me tell you all this, man. <laughs> I, I like him. As a person, now y'all know this about me, G Squad. I never watched basketball growing up. I never watched football or none of that. But I know who this man was because I follow people with the stories and that come from the mud and get to the top, top, top of the mook, man. And he is that guy. And I like him. But when he beat LeBron, their team, <laughs> the Dallas Mavericks, I was pissed that y'all won. But at the same time, 
it was like one of the situations where I was like, I was happy you won. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate but I, if you weren't on the team, I wanted the Miami to win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, but since you won, same thing. I was like, you know what? Karan Butler got a ring. I didn't look at Dallas Mavericks got a ring. I was like, Karan Butler got a ring. Respect. You know, for sure. And understand this now, to go from every situation I've been through in my life, right? If you don't know who I am and it's your first time watching, go watch my life story. All right? This guy right here is one of the many people that I watched on YouTube, man, when I was crawling through the damn mud and trenches, trying to jump over all these obstacles to get to where I'm at right now. And then to have met him, how I met him, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that video. And then now to be here with him and to be making a video with him in my video, that's just going to show you, man, God has a plan for everybody, man. Because for me to be sitting here and doing this right now is the most surreal thing on earth. Not because he's an NBA, former NBA player, NBA champ, two-time all-star, you know, came from the mud, did everything he did. Not because of that. It's because the, the situation where I'm at and everything that God has been able to do for me. Like, it's the life situation. It's like, you're a legendary dude, but it's more about, you know, how I... I'm here, and this is all kind of just happening with you. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the energy, bro. Yes. The energy is right. I, I don't know if you guys seen the video, but I'm coming on studio at Fox, yep. and I walk behind Slim. He turns around, he double takes. He's like, oh, shit. And, and, and we just connected. He shot me a yep. text. I said, yo, bro, you know, just hit me. I'll come on your show. It's all good. He hit me. I responded. He's here, yep. and we about to make a movie. We go. Yep. And let me tell you how much of he's the real one. <laughs> understand this now shot me a text and I, I, he was the one was like hey man let's take my number right how many people you know brother that do that and then next day you hit them up they be weird block you <laughs> block you might not hear from him again the real is just in this man's blood man no question about it man but hey big shout out before i forget uh to my guy custom cruise man he gave me the rolls royce so i'm here in la and it's big shout out to this dude right here too because he about to start he about to start editing my videos and making the thumbnails because i ain't got that much time no more <laughs> hey tell him everything you want to tell him chad whatever you want you feeling pj lockridge camera guy you can follow me on instagram at pj lockridge pj l-o-c-k r-i-d-g i'm having it flown right there on the screen for him brother so that way they you know it helped the cerebellum out you know retain the knowledge videos commercials short films whatever now let me yep Get at me. Get at it, man. And tell me your Instagram too, brother. I'm pretty sure people already know, but let's go ahead and tell them. My IG is at Karan Butler. My Twitter is at Real Tough Juice. Follow me. And, uh, you know, obviously I always follow all my fans back and I always interact with them. All things, Lakers, hot takes, life, politics, everything, bro. We talk it all. Now, how do you know if they're a real fan, though? You know what? Because you can tell by the questions and the depth of the questions. You yep. know what I mean? Because people know me, they're not going to ask me no foolery. They ain't going to ask me no crazy Where shit. Where are you from? Or yeah, yeah, what team did you play for? Yeah, they're going to get to like, hey, because you went or your perspective of this and you went through that, how do you feel about this? Like, real questions. Yep. Not just no, is LeBron good? I mean, duh, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like, 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 real questions. And I always respond because I think that's what it's all about, like, interacting with your people. Yep. And you can say you beat that man now. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, ain't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. And now I'm, I'm in this booth. You know, I work with Spectrum. I'm always reporting about LeBron and just to see him come, evolving the schools and what he's doing, you know, from a media standpoint. It, it's just amazing to see that brother, man. I think he's the standard. He's raising the ceilings and busting through walls and, you know, just inspiring other guys yeah. to be a better version. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Like, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I've said this in videos before. LeBron is the GOAT to me. He better than Jordan. Now, now basketball-wise, I know there's a lot of people who could beg to differ and say whatever they want to say, but LeBron off the court and his basketball, I'm just being biased with it. I like LeBron more than Michael Jordan. I think, you know, from a basketball standpoint, Michael Jordan is obviously the best basketball player ever to grace us with his gift. But, you know, from just inspiring, talking about transcending the game of basketball, using your platform, taking 40, 60 million followers that you have and influencing them to be a better version of themselves. And not only that, but enlightening them on real life stuff that went on in the communities and what's important, what, what's being taken away, what's not being given out. Like all those things, I think LeBron embodied those things. Yep, absolutely. Better than anybody i ever seen in my lifetime. You to ever do Jim it. Brown, Muhammad Ali, like yep. guys like that, like the real transitional setters, like game changers. LeBron's definitely on yep. that short list. And Quincy Jones, who can't forget about Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones, that documentary, Oof. check it out on Netflix, man. Have to. One of the best documentaries I've ever seen in my life. Filmed no by question. His lovely daughter, like it's amazing, bro. Yep, big time. So what, what are we going? Which one are we going to drive, brother? Uh, I mean, yeah, we're gonna hop in this race right here, man. We're gonna kick it, roll a little bit. What made you buy the Rolls Royce Wraith? Listen, this this was my retirement gift to myself. So when I retired, 
you know, I had a, a, a bundle of cars, right? And I, don't, I, don't, I hate keep just switching out cars and stuff. My wife loved the truck. We need a, a SUV for all the kids and myself. And you know, we got a lot of family in town. But most importantly, like you need that, you know, that that that, that trophy car for your accomplishments. You know, right. the grind and all the years and the sweat equity that you put into some. And I'm a car guy. You know, I love watches. I love cars. And this right here, was, it just did it for me. Like it's a different color. Um, you know, the interior, you're going to see that it's something a little different. Got a little of that drip on it. Yeah, I love the drip, man. And this is something that, just like, yo, man, I worked hard for this. I deserve it. Absolutely. You know I, mean? I don't have no crazy habits. Just this one of them, and I, I got what I wanted. I mean, but we all, even the most cheapest people in the world, even the most conservative Bill Gates type people, they all got the thing that they spend money on. They're not just not spending nothing. Yeah, you got, everybody got something. You know, like I said, it's watches and, 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 and cars for me personally. And I like going nice places and, you know, dining and stuff like that and you know my kids having the best education but this is my thing i ride smooth to work yep. every day i feel really good and uh it's my trophy right here it's with the black wheels too to myself i ain't gonna lie though i thought i thought you know because there's a ghost that look like this too right uh -huh. and i thought like don't they don't they have the one with the ghost too because i seen on your instagram you got the you got the the, the lights on the top of the stars yep. Right? How did you pick your pattern in your stars and how you chose them? Man, you know what? I, so this car was built. Like it took me about four months to build this uh, vehicle. And I went on there and like everything from the interior to, you know, the, the sound system and everything, I just wanted it right. You know what I mean? And right. It, 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 it was a process, but I, I always wanted the stars in the ceiling. I, I think I was watching a documentary, uh, 24 7 or the, bas the, fo the boxing thing with Floyd Mayweather, and I saw him just. Hop in the car at night, and the, and, and the lights hit him, and I was just like, I ain't got that feature on mine. But I had to get that, man. I was just like, I was feeling that. That was blaze. Now, I could be wrong. Ain't there a ghost with the same thing with the stars on the top? Absolutely. They, yeah, that's what I thought. And don't it look just like this? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I thought, because, you know, I'm a car dude, bro, but I'm like most car people in the world, bro. They just like it, but they don't know everything about them. Yeah, me either. Yeah, but you like them, though. I don't know everything about cars, but I, I have – certain things that I do like about them and like for me being six foot seven as you know yep. I'm a tall guy like there's certain things that I can fit in comfortably I had a yeah. 458 Ferrari I was squeezing in that I had a California T I was squeezing in that I had Maserati I was squeezing in that so like this is which Mazi though it's, uh, man I had the I had a coupe oh the Gran Turismo yeah I had okay and it was a drop top coupe and it, it, it was just tight for me you know yep. what I, mean? I wasn't 100%. Really comfortable but I got in it you know, but hey, look, if you want to ride and you want to be comfortable and you want to just, you know, just free flow with your, you know, your comfort, I think, you know, this is a part of your life, man. Like it starts your day off and you want to be comfortable. So this right here fits me extremely well. So tell me this, last question. If you could pick one car as he puffs on a cigar, real dime. Come on, man. Look at that old legendary. Right, I'm, not, I'm not doing this for the camera, man. No, it's just you. But that's dope that I get to capture that. No, but um, if you could pick one car, right? I asked Shannon this too. If you could pick one car in the history of Earth, right, that you could pick money in the object, don't matter, you get it absolutely free, what car would you pick? You know what? I would have to say, and I might end up getting this thing, man. I, I, I said it one other day, uh, the Ferrari truck. Ferrari? Oh. I, the, I really I really like the Ferrari truck, man. Um, the Lambo truck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Lamborghini Earth. Yeah, I was going to say, damn, brother, I, I'm a car dude. I ain't never heard of the Ferrari yeah, truck. The they, they, yeah. might, they might come out with one. You now. know they got to now. Yeah, but the Lamborghini truck, it was, yep. it's, it's dope. Yeah, that's legendary. I, I, like, I like the look of it. You know what I mean? I saw a red one. I set it in and drove it. It's, it's nice. Yeah, and you want, and they're not that bad, too. A quarter million type. You know, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not, the price is not hyped up, and it's only like that because it's the first year. So, you know, once it's in production for a while and the value has dropped a little bit, so it'll probably be like 180 you know, it'd be a good look. Do you like the Bentley Bentayga? I, I do like the Bentley. Like Same price, them. but you, you would choose that over that every time? Yeah, I had, I had a few Bentleys in, in, in my life and, you know, uh, been fortunate enough to drive them. And I, I really like Bentley as a, a, a car in the, in the trucks also, but... There's something about that Lambo truck. That Lambo. I love it too. I ain't gonna lie to you, Champ. It's, that joint is crazy dope. But um, I actually did a, not a video with it, but there was, I did a video on a 2019 um, uh, Audi Q8, right? Okay. They just came out with these, right? Yeah, and it's just like the Lambo truck for 
$80,000. Just, I understand, I did a review on it, drove it, everything. Now the engine ain't the same as the Lambo truck, but the outside looks just like it, the headlights, the tail lights, the interior, everything. It's just you don't get the engine. That's anything in, in, in the name. Yep, in the name. A lot of people feel a little different when you got that name and then you got the engine a little bit, got that kick too. Yeah. Say less, huh? Uh, yeah, I, that's all I gotta say. I <laughs> all right, man, well, we about to go ahead and get up in here, man. Look, I want to see the inside, brother. Like, let's go ahead and open the door. It's already open? Yes, sir. Appreciate it, brother. Come on, look how the door open. Give you a full understanding, man. The most leathers, listen, man. I'm not about to go through all the analytical, detailed specs and all that stuff. But I'm just going to touch on the basics. You got the wood grain right here, and you got the leather right here. You got the nice bolster and everything, common kosher, man. And then this is the most piece that everybody wants to see. So even when the car ain't on, it just stays on? No doubt. What? Yeah, you got the lights flicking. So the second the door is open, you see the lights already uh, establishing their they presence. Yeah. And, you know, you see the rose gold. Oh, that is rose gold, ain't it, brother? Yeah, all through there. Yeah, that's, that's hard. Detail. Yeah, this that's is something nice. Something that I really wanted, man. And you know, my daughter left her, you know, her stamp right here. Yeah, yeah, I seen that too. Her name. <laughs> yeah. Like, Dad, this is my car. You take me to school, carpool, everything. So it's, it's special, man. Yeah, this is hard, man. We're going to go on a little drive, brother. You want to go on a drive? No doubt. Let's do it. And just like that, G Squad, I am back in my hotel room, man, with the views. I don't know if y'all can see everything that's happening right there. It's not nothing crazy, but, you know, legendary views nonetheless, you know. But uh, now I'm ending the video for the big legendary family. Make sure you click that link in the bio and subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. I know we ain't posted a video on there in a while. But you know, lost all that footage from Italy, France, and Switzerland that kind of threw me back. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all see, we were just at Karan Butler House, you know. Obviously, we jumped from the rafe and all that stuff, you know, to right back at the hotel room. Um, if you haven't uh, already watched those videos, make sure you go back and watch those videos. Or if this one's before, go ahead and watch some other ones, you know. Make sure you just stay tuned in the loop. But that's why you subscribe to my YouTube channel because when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, it gives you an opportunity to get a notification. So you subscribe and you hit that bell. Make sure the little sound marks are outside that bell so then you're fully notified. So that way whenever I post a video, it doesn't matter in what order I post them in, you get a notification so you can watch it, you know, whenever you feel like watching it. But I prefer to watch it as soon as the damn thing pops up on your phone or your computer or whatever. I prefer you just click it as soon as you get the, no the damn notification, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, everything can't happen our way even though we want it to. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all nonetheless for subscribing and all that stuff. But now I got to edit these videos, man, and uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm getting some breakfast. I got some corned beef hash right here. Never seen it like this, but I'll test that out. Then we got some crunchy. French toast, fresh squeeze, orange juice, baby. We gotta refuel for the grind. Go ahead and talk to him, champ. Yo, yo. Y'all wouldn't know, man. If this look, Slim the most realest YouTuber ever. Legendary big facts, man. Listen, I've been it's seeing Slim, <laughs> nigga, for like, what, 20? By what, like, 2016, 2017, I've been subscribed, man, to his yep. channel. He real. He's big facts, yo. He actually talked to his supporters in G Squad. I talked to all my cause I talked to Slim. Cause yep. Slim, he he does it. Okay, I can't too, bro. I already know as much as say with Slim. This is legendary, bro. Yo, people, you had your people reach out to me, and yeah. you know what's crazy is I get so many DMs. It's hard to see everybody. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I was able to see. It was just cool. it was like God, brother. I went in. I I popped in my DMs. And I always look through my DMs, I, but I can't, it's so hard to find the time to respond back to everybody. I can tell you it's G-Squad too. Oh yeah, Slim, man, I, yo, this big real fact. I got so much facts to show you me and my car homies, man, since back then till now, man. I, I met a, a, a guy that worked at a cell phone shop named AB. He took me in his shop. I live there now. He got me the clothes I'm yep. wearing and stuff. He helped me put gas in my car. Come see you, like, I'm a Let's say, dude, you got that God, Mustang got me. that sound to it too. Slim, it, it's God, man. See, yeah. I don't know what to do. And plus, I met a YouTuber too, like two months ago, named DDG. Pineapple like DDG. Oh yeah, yeah, I already knew. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch his videos and stuff. And I didn't watch a few of them. He put me in the video, and since then, you know, I, I get followers from him, and everybody support my channel on YouTube. I got all positive comments. I get DMs from kids in London, Africa, even the real big gangsters DM me say I motivate them because everything I've been through. I'm still smiling, being strong. I, I can show you my phone. People from all over Slim saying, keep going, G. Here for you. It's just a fucking blessing, bro. I come from Cleveland, Ohio, 216, Hayden Hood, not shit there. People want to head. It's, it's just, I come from, yeah. you come from. Crabs Hood. in a barrel. Yeah. You know, yep, crabs really. in a barrel. You know how it is. That was real of DDG to do that for you, though. Yeah, that, yeah, that 100%. was. 100%. He got that real, that drip in his blood. And then he seen me, measured him since 2015, three years straight. Yep. I just kept talking to him as if he had talked back to me. And 
He said, I don't know you how DM'd you DM'd him on Instagram? That's what's up, three man. Three years straight, just three years. I know that is God, brother, because I understand it. He, he, get, he got more subscribers than me, so you know he get more DMs than me. So you got to understand, he hits you back through DMs, and then next thing you know, you hit me, and then I hit you back. It, 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 that, that shit's amazing. So I, I, I don't know what the fuck that God is so good, baby. People yep. other than me that could have met him or met you. Yep. I'm just saying, I'm, I cherish everything. And I answer all my comments back, all my DMs, my... YouTube comes up, I answer everyone, and I even give my personal number out to them, and they talk to me, check on me. Yep. Like, how you, Just like you got my number. Out, I'm the real, yeah. Yeah, you pulled up to my hotel. Uh, yeah, and then that's crazy. I said, hold on, I said, I, I know, said to my location, I, I said, come pin. on, champ. Yeah, I said, I know you ain't dropped the pin like that. No, first is what he did, though. First, he DM'd me, and then next you know, you sent me your number, then I just called you. And then next you know, he couldn't believe it was me. It must have said Minnesota on the color yeah, ID when I called up. I wasn't going to answer no 11, but I'm on YouTube actually. Watch your video. I said, man, I saw that. I said, oh, it's, it's slim. Hold the fuck on. I was like, shut up, <laughs> shut up. I said, what's good? Nigga, slim. Yes. No, that's legendary. Then, and then after that, I told him we'd link up, we'd do a video, but I was tied up at the time, so I was like, you know, we'll make time today. And then next thing you know, I dropped you the location. It's hard to do that because you never know who might try to rob you, set you up. Might try to hit a Yeah, the fucking dangerous as fuck. You know, because I was one of them guys, so I got that brain. Honestly, in all honesty, bro, like I would love to help every G Squad subscriber like you out there in the world, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard, there's not enough time in the day. Sometimes I can't get there, sometimes I'm tied up, you know what I'm saying? Like even now, I gotta be back over there in 30 minutes to go do some car stuff, you know what I'm saying, with my guy. So it's like, but I'm, I'm making time, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when people get a platform and they're blessed to be in a position that we're in, they should help out, give back, pay your blessings forward, you know what I'm saying? So it's all love, baby, you know what I'm saying? I still believe it's still like, cook. Look, I'm out here with you, man. I'm out here with you. I'm a regular dude, bro. You watch my videos, y'all watch my videos. I'm just a regular dude, man. You see me come up and show me love, I'm gonna show you love. He's really real, y'all. I appreciate it. You just fucking do it. I took the faith. I finally get 2K subscribers and shit, so channel's going up. Congratulations, man. Give him your YouTube channel name, too. I'm gonna put this link in the description, man. What's your YouTube channel name? My channel name is the Greg Fam. It's just simple to. Greg fam, um, it's I'm gonna float on the screen because you know I put it on the screen for the people. Oh, the so Greg fam, I put it on the screen. Oh. Yeah, and then y'all can click that link in the description below it, and subscribe to his channel. Man, go show this man love, man. Legendary guy, and I like his energy. I like your energy, man. And we taking him in the Rolls Royce Ghost. I'm gonna take him in the Rolls Royce today. I never thought the fuck happened. Like, I, I never thought I fucking even see one in person. You know what I'm saying? Come on, them cars, bro. Come on, you about to get in it. Come on, I know, champ. I grew up in them kind of cars my whole life, brother. Now you in the Rolls, brother. Taking the moment, brother. You know what I'm saying? Come here, brother. Come over this way, man. I'm going to open it like a butler, brother. You know, go ahead and uh, experience that. Go ahead and get up in there, man. Hey, okay, break it down for me, champ. <laughs> this guy. I swear it's God. brother. I swear. I swear. You, you'd be right. 100% accurate. This guy, brother. You was just with DDG. Now you with me. Like, come on, man. That's God, brother. You know what I'm saying? And everybody needs help. You know what I'm saying? And the more help you get, the better. You know what I mean? And if people can't understand that, then fuck you. You know what I'm saying? If you with somebody or you trying to do videos with somebody, and then like even if like understand, you got how many subscribers? Two thousand, right? You just reached two thousand. Yeah. Big congrats 2000 again. Two thousand last night, I think. Yeah, last yeah. Night, or night so big congrats on that. That's monumental because there's a lot of people who ain't got two thousand. Everybody yeah. has to start somewhere, right? But let's say when you reach out to somebody like me, or you reach out to somebody like DDG, or you reach out to whoever else on YouTube who you want to reach out with, if they can't understand that that you know what I'm saying not only do you want to collab with them because you rock with them but you want to collab with them too because you want to you know grow your shit up too you know what I'm saying it's just business it's smart but if you really fuck with them then that's all that should matter you know what I'm saying but if people can't understand that then it's all the way fuck them you know what I mean one million percent if you can't understand that then I don't know what to tell them you know what I'm saying you ain't really started from nothing because if you ain't if, if you start from nothing then people will understand like man listen I get it you need help I've been there I wish somebody would help me that's how you would think that's how you should think anyway but the people who already had it and never grew up in that struggle, they don't understand. They, at all. they, they don't, don't understand that. Up. You know they what I'm saying? Assholes. I said some. We don't have to vlog yeah. nothing. I just want to meet you. And what I tell you? And what I tell you? He's like, man, fuck all that shit. But it's your goddamn film and vlog. I was like, and soon okay. As soon as he said he was outside my hotel, I said, have that camera ready, champ. You know what I'm saying? Be ready to record everything. You know what I'm saying? Because I totally understand and I get it one million percent. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's just like, man, if you're you now, this is the thing. Don't hit me up if you ain't been trying to put in work yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like if a motherfucker's just like, hey man, I ain't created a channel, but my first video I do 
I want to be with you. No, you gotta well, put in your you got now then you gotta put in your work first. You put in your work, even if you got five videos up, but and you made it five days ago, I see you put up a video every day in five days, and then you hit me up and I see that you hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nobody I see hit me up that I don't hit back. You know what I'm saying? If I see it, I hit back. You know what I'm saying? Other than if it's in the comments of my videos, because it'd be so many damn yeah, comments, like, and all, there's only so many hours in a day, brother. Like you know what I'm saying? Thousands. Yeah, like, you know what I'm damn. saying? So, I'm um. 1500. <laughs> yeah, baby, it's time consuming, brother. You know what I'm saying? But people, if you can't understand that, then, then you ain't really come from a struggle. You know what I'm saying? That's me anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, That's you know, just, agree to disagree for the people who, who you know, who don't feel you that have way. Have a degree, you've been to prison, yo. You humble as can be, have a family, nice home. That's the fucking American dream. Like, other. Niggas might say, oh, well, yeah, he's living us. I don't know the fuck where he live at. Niggas doing yeah. big shit. I, I like this I shit. You person. What the fuck, nigga, coming yeah, I from? I appreciate that, that brother. Give me hope. Like, okay, nigga, you don't got none of that shit he been through, so, nigga, you just stride and go. Yep. But that shit's big legendary to me. See, but people can't. Man, three. Man, I appreciate that, man. Shout out to my dog, three. Mr. Mm -hmm. Organic. Go subscribe to this channel, man. But a lot of times, man, people people who don't come from nothing, they can't. They can't relate to what I say so when they when they can't relate to what I say or how I live or what I do they hate you so when they re, when they can't relate to you they hate you you know what I'm saying when it shouldn't be that way yeah, if you man. can't relate to somebody you should try to get to understand them. you know what I'm saying that's just how it should be you know what I mean because understand this the whole time I was in college though for the time I came home from prison all these people on YouTube that I watched and supported you know what I'm saying like I realized some of the motherfuckers ain't that cool you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but the thing is is I always watched them though so the thing was it was like even though I wasn't like them, I watched them. And even though I couldn't relate to them, I liked what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? So it was never no hate this way. It was just always love. But once I got a platform, I didn't just come into the door on YouTube like, hey, man, I want to go try to collab with everybody, hit everybody up. The understand this. The first time I reached out to Street Speed, I had 30,000 subscribers. And that felt like I... It doesn't at, work. At that the time, work. At the time, though, I felt like I had a million subscribers because to get 30,000 subscribers, I never thought... I, I like. I just never thought like it would go like crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? So 30,000 to me at the time felt like a million subscribers. So when I reached out to him and I had the G Squad reach out to him, I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that's legendary that they would do that. You know what I'm saying? But understand, the first time I ever went to collab with anybody was when I had 30,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So once I had a, yeah, yeah so once I had a platform, I, I was like, why wouldn't nobody fuck me? I got my own shit. You got your own shit. And I ain't trying to be like you. I just, I fuck with what you do. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people, me and my dog, th uh, three of them, Mr. Organic, we talk about this all the time. A lot of times people get that platform and they want to hog it to themselves. They want to hold it tight yeah, to their chest. Share, no. Don't want to share no spotlight with nobody. If you get the opportunity where you're on a stage where people are listening to you and hear you, you should be pulling other people up. You are now put in a position, blessed and touched by God, that you are in a position to change somebody else's life. And that's the same shit that an actor said to him, but he said, once you get there, reach back, pull somebody else up. Well, I'm going to take him on a ride in the Rolls Royce right now, man. So we're going to go around the block, man. You keep recording, y'all. If y'all want to see what he putting on his channel, y'all got to go to his channel and watch that video, man. Appreciate that, brother. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is a prepaid debit call from an inmate at the Minnesota Stillwater Correctional Facility. To accept this call, press zero. To refuse this call, hang up or press one. You know how many people did that when I was in prison? Come on, man. This call is from a corrections facility and is subject to monitoring and reporting. Thank you for using GTL. Man, not much, brother. Just living a blessed life, brother. How you feeling? Shit, I'm breathing, shit. Yeah, I'm already knowing, man. Hey, I got you on the uh, YouTube channel right now, man. So, you know, talk to him, whatever you want to say to him, brother. Go ahead and talk to him. You on a YouTube channel from prison, brother. <laughs> That's the first time in the history of mankind that has probably ever been done, huh? <laughs> first time ever. You know what's crazy, bro? As I was talking to you yesterday when I was out here in L.A., it's crazy because us as brothers, like, you know we know, but, like, I was sitting in the same spot you was in that you're in right now, same prison and everything, and then now I'm out here in L.A. driving in Rolls Royce Ghosts and driving Lamborghinis and all this other crazy stuff, brother. And I just, I know they, when I say this stuff in the videos, they hear me, but they don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so they don't really know what, what, am I, what some of the witnesses do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could talk to people first turn blue, but if they ain't witnessing for themselves, then they don't really have, they don't have as much, they don't have as much power as they do if they witness it themselves. Right, so you as my brother, like you know, all them times when I was in the joint, I needed a three-way call, I call you, you three-way somebody for me, you know what I'm saying? Right. All that, man, it's just... Right. then you get up, doing your thing now, man, that's how I know, if you could do it, I could do it. 
do it. You know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. My turn next, man. Yeah. Now tell them how much time you gotta do, Brody. Yeah, I've been I've been gone a year. I got five. I got five and a half years left. So there y'all go. So let's get a full understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like, I'm out here doing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? But you got to understand, me and a few of my brothers have been to prison. You know what I'm saying? And one, my youngest, this is my baby brother, he in there right now. We ain't where exactly where we want to be, but we damn sure ain't where we used to be. He could be not ever coming home, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he got another chance at life, you know what I'm saying? And he was in prison before in Chicago, then he came home. He tried to do right, you know what I'm saying? Just like I did too. I made some mistakes along the way. Luckily, you know what I'm saying, God was looking out for me. You know what I'm saying, I never got popped back off and went back into prison, but my brother did, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. you know. Day, this is, I feel like, to me personally, I feel like this is God way of telling me to sit out. You know what I'm saying, I was doing too much. Regardless of, of my reasons for doing what I was doing, I was still doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Yep, I'm already because knowing. You, tried to, you know what I'm saying, you tried to even push me along a different path, bro. I know, but you know, when we on that path and we got that tunnel vision, we own what we own. Sometimes we, yeah, we gotta, gotta go through those obstacles to change us. You know what I'm saying? A hundred purified, percent, man. You know what I'm saying? But I told you. That's why I told you the other day, like, you know what I'm saying? You reflecting, you self evaluating, so you on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you doing it, bro. You know, and then pretty soon before you know it, I'll be picking you up from the joint, like I told you, in a Lambo. You know what I mean? On that release date, pulling up, picking my baby brother up in the Lambo, going crazy, living life. I'm I'm already knowing, man. Listen, man. But I just wanted to let y'all know that, brother. Talk to him, Robert. Say whatever you want to say to him, brother. Because I'm about to click the camera off so we can chop it up and talk it up. Whenever you feel like something is hard, just know it could always be harder. Your situation could always be worse. It's what you make out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That, that makes you who you are. How we get through the obstacles is what defines us. Not the obstacles themselves, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's all, man. Just, and if you're going down, if you feel like you're going down the wrong path, all you got to do is change your thought process, you change your actions. Yeah, prove got... everybody else wrong. All the naysayers, all the haters, prove them wrong. And prove yourself right. That what you believe you can do, you, know you know can I mean? do. Yep, absolutely. You don't show them and yourself that you can do better than what they think of you. Absolutely. God give his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, man. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. This is my little brother who's sitting in prison and he's talking to y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? And I was in that same exact situation and now I'm out here doing what I'm doing. So you can't tell me, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing in this world possible. You know what I mean? If you believe you can achieve, you know what I'm saying?